Innovator has for enemies all who have done well under the old, and lukewarm defenders and those who may do well under the new. War should be the only study of a prince. He should consider peace only as a breathing time, which gives him leisure to contrive, and furnishes his ability to execute, military plans. Men ought either to be well treated or crushed, because they can avenge themselves of lighter injuries, of more serious ones they cannot, therefore the injury that is to be done to a man ought to be of such a kind that one does not stand in fear of our. A wise prince then, should never be idle in times of peace but should industriously, lay up stores of which to avail himself in times of adversity so that when fortune, abandons him he may be prepared to resist her blows. For, in truth, there is no sure way of holding other than by destroying. There is no avoiding war, it can only be postponed to the advantage of others. I consider it a mark of great prudence in a man to abstain from threats or any contemptuous expressions for neither of these weaken the enemy, but threats make him more cautious, and the other excites his hatred, and a desire to revenge himself. The world has always been the same, and there is always as much good fortune as bad in it. Men as a whole judge more with their eyes than with their hands. Nature creates few men brave, industry and training makes many. The princes who, have done great things are the ones, who have taken little account, of their promises. Where the very safety of the country depends upon their resolution to be taken, no consideration of justice or injustice, humanity or cruelty, nor of glory or of shame, should be allowed to prevail. But putting all other considerations aside, the only. As the physicians say it happens in hectic fever, that in the beginning of the malady it is easy to cure but difficult to detect, but in the course of time, not having been either detected or treated in the beginning, it becomes easy to detect but d. A battle that you win cancels any other bad action of yours. In the same way, by losing one, all the good things worked by you before become vain. He who would foresee what is to happen should look to what has happened, for all that is has its counterpart in time past. For as good habits of the people require good laws to support them, so laws, to be observed, need good habits on the part of the people. And when neither their property nor honor is touched, the majority of men live content and he is only to contend with the ambition of a few, whom he can curb with ease in many ways.